Hey, so last time I was talking about the last couple of times I've been talking about growth and um, getting out of comfort zones and trying to, you know, the concept of change being inevitable and growth being op optional. And uh, I think it was last time I talked about this, this concept of get out of your comfort zone if you truly want to grow. There has to be conflict. There has to be discomfort. Well, today I want to take it to a different level. I had touched on in the last one the concept of confidence. And I had touched on the idea that as coaches and as teachers, we need to help kids you know, deal with the fact that they're going to make mistakes, they're going to have failure. And the only way for them to be able to um, do that and handle that failure and those mistakes is if they trust us you know, through the process. And we do a whole thing in our uh, presentation with Proactive Coaching called The Impact of Trust on how do you create trust with your teams. But one of the things that we are trying to do with our kids is get to that trust level where they're okay making mistakes in front of us and in front of their teammates and ultimately in front of anybody who's watching them, right? If they don't trust us, okay, it's gonna be really hard to create that concept of what would be called a fearless competitor. Well, one of the ways that we need to be focused on helping them and building that trust is by confidently excuse me, constantly speaking confidence into them and constantly working to help them be confident in their own abilities. I love the Jim Valvano quote, you know, in fact, I, I need to do this on the podcast. I don't think I have uh, done that one before. Maybe I have, uh, but my father gave me the greatest gift somebody can give someone else. He believed in me. And it's that concept where we as coaches need to do that for our kids, okay? Well, I want to talk a little bit about confidence today because uh, I heard on Trent Dilfer's podcast, Beyond the X's and O's, I've referenced it numerous times now. It's one of my favorite, if not my favorite podcast right now. And I heard him talking about this concept of confidence. He, I believe it was the episode with Greg, Greg McElroy. So we're, it, it's in season two of the Beyond the X's and O's podcast. I highly recommend you check that out. You don't have to be a quarterback or have anything to do with football to get things out of the great lessons throughout every one of those episodes. But he was talking about either working with the Seattle Seahawks or when he was playing for the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, Pete Carroll had a guy named Michael Gervais in. I've listened to Michael Gervais' podcast, the a leadership podcast, and he's got a lot of great things about this, about all kinds of things with leadership. And he was saying confidence is trainable, is what Michael Gervais had taught. Um, you know, I think, I think Dilfer was on the Seahawks at the time. And he said confidence in, is trainable. In, in other words, you can work at it. It's not you have it or you don't. He said, but it requires two things from, from us in many ways, okay? You have to have two things. One, you have to be able to do hard things. In order to gain confidence, you have to do hard things. And two, you have to speak well of yourself while doing those hard things. Interesting concept. Speak well of yourself. In other words, the self-talk that you say to yourself while doing the hard, difficult things that you have to do in whatever it is that you're working at is the way that you will build your own confidence. So it starts with trying to do these hard, these difficult things that you know are going to make you better in the long run, right? Maybe even in the short run. So I gotta do this hard thing, but I gotta speak well of myself and to myself, my self-talk. I have to speak well and speak you know, constantly telling myself good things about what I'm doing while I'm going through this difficult, hard work. Now, I don't think he's saying if you had a bad rep, you had a bad situation, oh, that's okay, you're great, you know, whatever, maybe. But you probably need to also be honest with yourself when you didn't get it done the right way. But as you're going through doing the hard things, give yourself those positive self, you know, those positive talks, those positive you know, self-talks, right? The more you can do that, the more your confidence will rise because here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna do better at the thing you're working at. You're getting through the hard thing. The more you get through the hard thing, the success you're going to start to see. See, this is another area where confidence comes in when we then have success. So, you know, you've heard success begets success, right? Well, I think success begets confidence which then can help you get more success, which can help you get more confidence, and, and it starts rolling.
you know, you know as well as I, when we have a good win, let's say, and we have a couple of stringing a few good wins together, team's feeling good about themselves, feeling, you know, it's positive, and we're, we're confident. Now all of a sudden we hit a roadblock, we hit an obstacle. Ooh, that can shake our confidence, right? That's where the positive self-talk needs to be. Because, okay, you're doing hard things even right there. You gotta be able to talk yourself through that. You gotta be able to stay positive. And so I think it's really a, a great message for us that to get that confidence and then to sustain it, we have to constantly be pushing ourselves to do hard things. Like I talked about last time, the discomfort. Keep working in that discomfort zone. But while you're working in the discomfort zone, keep saying positive things to yourself. Keep thinking the positive thoughts, all right? And keep giving yourself those messages of positive self-talk and confidence to help you push through. So now that's what I can do for myself to keep myself rolling forward and getting more and more confidence. Next time, I'm gonna talk about what is my role as somebody on the outside? Not necessarily on the outside of an organization, but I'm gonna try and help you get confident. What can I do? So of course, this is for us as teachers and coaches and parents. What can we do to help our kids? gain that confidence that they need to succeed. Come back next time for that one. We'll talk to you then.